The city of Gary called in the National Guard, and that's a good thing. As Dorothy Tucker reports, the soldiers are helping the city fight drugs by tearing down abandoned homes. The boom of the bulldozer. Crushing the walls of abandoned houses is welcomed noise to neighbors like Beatrice Prickett. To watch this from your front porch. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. Those houses have been standing for so long. Each blow signals the end of 15 years of torture for residents forced to live just doors from empty havens for drugs and crime. What have you seen in these abandoned homes? Now I've seen people coming in and out, um, using them as trap houses, um, using them as um, prostitution. The demolition is courtesy of the Indiana National Guard. A $125,000 federal grant pays for their services. Another $25,000 paid for the equipment. And in an ironic twist, that money came from drug dealers. There might be uh, cash that's seized. There might be uh, vehicles uh, and guns that are seized as a result of uh, that uh, drug case. Fifteen houses are on the crushing block. Three were done yesterday, three today, and the rest will be demolished by the end of the month. Also lending support to the project, Indiana Senator Todd Young. Are now available for somebody to move in and, and uh, either start a business or build a home. Another benefit of the demolition, it's good training for the soldiers. The National Guard is often called to help clean up after a hurricane or tornado, and this is good practice for them. Robin, Erica. So who... I'm go sorry, ahead. I was going to say it's a win-win for everyone. Yeah, it sounds like it. Who made the initial request for the money to come in and the National Guard? The mayor of Gary. Uh, she asked for help because of the problems, and the senator answered her call. Good use of the drug money, too. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dorothy. Thanks. Coming